Salute to that nigga DJ Power for going off on you bust ass niggas, man. Talking about he ain't show up to Gangsta Butte, Gangsta Boot uh, funeral. Nigga don't owe none of y'all that. And I felt that nigga, bro. Let me tell you something. Like myself, it's a whole lot of people out here don't do no motherfucking funerals. Yeah, it's a whole lot of motherfuckers that don't do no funerals. The last funeral I went to, nigga, I was like 12 years old. Maybe 13. It was a whole lot of fake shit going on in that bitch. Whole lot of fake shit. You know? People I ain't even motherfucking know coming up to me. Oh, what's up? If you need anything, you don't get the fuck out of my face, nigga. You ain't never bought me a sandwich. I ain't never bought me a cheeseburger from Burger King. You don't get the fuck out of my face. This gonna be the last time I see you. You know, some people don't do funerals, nigga. I felt that nigga when he said that. And then he, uh, allegedly he paid for the funeral. You know, y'all motherfuckers be on the internet worried about the wrong shit. Telling that man he wrong and all that shit, man. You don't know what, what? The nigga paid for the funeral, allegedly, man. What else you want, bitch? The fuck? Nigga don't do funerals, nigga. My relationship with that woman is well understood, nigga. And I'm speaking from DJ Paul's standpoint. Their relationship is understood. Like he said, they know they loved each other. The fuck? I ain't got to prove none to you. Goof ass nigga. Bust ass nigga. That nigga had me rolling like a motherfucker. A lot of you group ass niggas ain't finna be doing nothing trying to take pictures and get autographs and shit with a nigga. Man, fuck you group ass nigga. <laughs> That's some real shit, man. That's some real nigga shit, man. Real shit. Y'all niggas just want to be uh, taking selfies and shit being seen on the internet. Oh, man, look. Nigga, man, imagine a nigga all at the motherfucking funeral getting a selfie with DJ Paul, nigga. And DJ Paul go look on the internet, nigga, and tagged him in the post. And the shit say, we working. Man, you know how mad that'll make me? That'll make me so motherfucking mad. Nigga, we all at the funeral burying, burying my motherfucking sister and some group ass nigga I don't know get a selfie with me with a big ass grin on his face. I go look on Instagram later and the shit say we working. Working on what? What? <laughs> we had a funeral, my nigga. What we working on? <laughs> I felt DJ Paul, nigga, man. Nigga don't want to be around you goof ass, you goof ass, groupy ass, weirdo ass niggas, man. Yeah, man, y'all know, hey, hey, you know this for the weirdos and the goofies, part three. Nigga, hey, nigga ain't fucking with that. I felt that nigga, man. Shit, goof ass nigga. Listen here, man, this podcast is for all the people that know Gucci Mane don't owe that nigga scar. Motherfucking thing. I gave you the game, nigga. I gave you the opportunity, nigga. You wanted to get high, nigga. The fuck? Boy, fuck your brother and your sister. You hear me? That nigga sister, man, look, I know I'm kind of late. I never spoke on this, but I, this might be the best time to do it. Listen, this nigga sister all on the motherfucking internet talking about, yeah, that, 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 that little, that little 20,000 didn't help nothing. Bitch, you ain't got 20,000. You ain't never had 20,000 in your possession all at one time. What the fuck is you talking about, girl? Then you got your brother talking about some, yeah, and you ain't getting them chains back. Bitch, I'm a multimillionaire. You at the same house that you grew up in your whole life, man. Shut the fuck up, man, before I send somebody through there to get them chains off your motherfucking neck. What are you talking about, man? Y'all, man, y'all be all out of line. Y'all be out of line, boy. <laughs> you, hey, y'all motherfuckers be out of pocket. Now listen, that internet shit, nigga. Like that boy D-Money said, nigga, that's that internet. I'm going to put an end to that. Nigga talking about some what a nigga ain't getting. You talking to a nigga that's up 10, 15, 20 million motherfucking dollars, nigga. You ain't never seen a million dollars, nigga. You ain't seen a million dollars in Monopoly money, nigga. You telling me what I ain't finna get, nigga. You right. I'm not finna come get it. My boy is. Yeah, I'm finna send my little partner through there. Matter of fact, I'm finna send your partner through there to come get it. Bitch, y'all be out of pocket, man. Talking that crazy ass shit, man. Listen, this podcast is for the people that know Gucci Mane don't owe Scar or his motherfucking family a goddamn thing. 
And salute to his motherfucking daddy for coming through and uh saving y'all ass. <clears throat> the daddy probably saved their ass by apologizing to Gucci. Yeah, man, don't you be playing with no nigga that got the time and the money to, to uh uh plot on your stupid ass. What's wrong with y'all? What I told y'all about playing with them people that got the time and the money? You the one got to get your ass up and go to that same job at the same time every day. You the one got to get your ass up and drop them, them goddamn kids off at that same school at the same time every day. You the one that got to get up, go get your mama medicine from that same goddamn store with that same goddamn prescription every day. And I could just sit back and watch your stupid ass. And whenever I feel like a nigga can jump out and get your stupid ass. Because a nigga got the time and the money. Say, man, go to church, man. Give your life to God, man. Yeah, yeah, but, but, but before you do that, get send them chains back. <laughs> man, people be out of line like a motherfucker, man. Motherfuckers be out of line. Motherfuckers be out of bounds, nigga. Ugh.